What's poppin' y'all? Tyler, the creator, recently did an interview, which is always a great time because he's relatively unfiltered, is gonna say things how he feels about them, and he doesn't do interviews very often. However, one of the takes that's been circulating a lot more than the others is the following. I'm gonna play you guys the clip and then we'll get into it. This white kid, regular, like, Caucasian man, and he's, like, mocking Future and Gucci Mane, like, rap music. And like people are like, this hard. It's not even like satire. It's like, I'm just joking. I'm just mocking it. But I'm like, no, 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 you can't do it. And I hold rap music so close too. to my heart because this changed my life and everyone's life around me. And I'm a nerd about this. Shit. This is like weird. And I'm why I'm looking at it and something about it like don't even sit well with me in comparison to someone like a Mac Miller or Eminem, who it didn't seem like they was mocking it, they had a genuine love for it, and they were still just being, for sure. the, you know? Uh, uh. So you just heard what Tyler the Creator had to say there. Some people thought that he was referencing Lil Mabu, which I don't think so, because the only reason why I say that is I don't think Lil Mabu sounds anything like Gucci Mane, Future, or any trap artist. However, if the criticisms that Tyler the Creator was making here were aimed at Lil Mabu, I would understand. Lil Mabu is one of those rappers, and I've said that Lil Mabu's having good success, and he's a, a smart guy, and he knows what he's doing, but if there were any prototypical definition of what Tyler the Creator is talking about, it is Lil Mabu, but that's not who he's referencing. Yo, Lil Mabu got a song with, it's just, Lil Mabu is a character. I can't really take that person seriously as, even disregarding his talent, right? I can't take him seriously as, oh, this is an actual person that's making real music. It's almost as if this is a marketing executive that's using himself as the vehicle, which, hey, it works. I mean, 6 9 was in a similar vein, but 6 9 wasn't really parodying, making fun of things as much in his music. It was just in his marketing stunts for the music. But with Lil Mabu, they're tied in together. I don't want to deviate too much. The only other person that could have came to mind is Ian. And that's a guy that's relatively new. People were saying he was a off spin from Yeet, which you can clearly hear a similar type of influence. Yeet is more, I would say, Ian is really, 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 really normal. And I think that's something that bothers some people. Like, a guy has a regular family, comes from a suburb, isn't trying to act like something he's not. But Tyler, the creator, has an issue with this, which I can't bear to understand why. So Tyler, the creator, makes it clear that, oh, if it were just parody, there wouldn't be an issue with it. So if he's parodying, there isn't an issue. But you believe that he's mocking the genre. That's what you believe. And you're ascribing that to him when that's that's clearly not the dude's intention you just listen to the guy's music you can tell he's influenced and this is the thing he's not mocking it because he's getting in front of it what do you want do you want him to like sag his do you want him to do a post malone did you want to have girls in the guy's mouth you want him to start getting face tattoos what's the deal you want him dressing like he's from atlanta of course not so what does he do? He dresses regular and he leans into the jokes that he already knows people are going to make about him. And the funniest thing about this is, well, first let's get into Ian's team replying. So the person that manages Ian or assigned him is Akon's brother. And he had the following to say, he said, yo, at uh, Tyler, the creator, I signed Ian and I'm from Atlanta. He sounds nothing like Gucci or future, LOL. It's called influence, but I never thought I'd see the day where you become old and hate on the youth. And I wouldn't say Tyler, the creator is necessarily hating. I think he's just strongly opinionated. I think Tyler, the creator shows a lot of love to other artists. This whole entire thing, I believe it's a frustration that Tyler, the creator has that he doesn't want to admit. And I will say it, the exact fan base that Ian has right now that Tyler, the creator is trying to make fun of is exactly an identical reflection of the fan base that Tyler, the creator had in late 2009, late 2000s, really early 2010s, 2010, 11, 12, Tyler, the creator, you had the same exact fan base as this guy, identical, same demographics, same like suburban areas. And I think there was always this frustration within Tyler, the creator, it's just a generation apart, of course. But think about it. Back then, Tyler, the creator, was like, yeet, Ian, people were like, what the hell is this? What is he listening to? Or what are kids listening to? This is kind of demonic. I mean, Ian's not really demonic. The guy's just really regular, dropping music. He's not acting like something he's not in the music either. 
He's not hanging around. Like, for example, Lil Mabu, you see him around like like 25 guys around him. You don't really see that with Ian. That's one of the people that I, one of the newer artists that I think you can hate on the least for his image or what he's presenting. Sure, you can probably say the music sucks. That's up to you. But to hate on him or to come at him in the way that Tyler, the Creator did, I think it's a frustration. And this is why. Tyler, the Creator, if you guys remember, Academics made a statement once where he said Tyler, the Creator felt like he doesn't get put in hip hop slash rap conversations enough. And he told Academics like he was disappointed that Academics never posts about Tyler, the Creator when he's doing these big shows and stuff. And Tyler, the Creator has always been seeking this approval from hip hop. Another person that's all sought approval from hip hop for a very, very, very long portion of their career and wants to kind of get the love of it, despite them being massively successful as Russ. Tyler, the creator, I would say he's gotten more acceptance than Russ, of course. But with Tyler, the creator, it's also go like, for example, people like Youngboy, people like when you think rappers, not many people are thinking Tyler, the creator, he has more of an alternate fan base, like an alt fan base. And it's, I don't want to call it rejects is a disrespectful word. But they're they're alternative. They're outside of the norm. Like people that are listening to Young Boy aren't aren't like, yo, turn on that new Tyler the Creator. People that are listening to Dirk aren't saying, yo, turn that new Tyler the Creator on. Sure, there will be a small blend right in between, but it's very, 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 very narrow. Tyler the Creator has his own fan base. Just the best example I can give you is Tyler the Creator's own festival. The guy threw a festival, and everybody thought Frank Ocean was coming out. And instead of Frank Ocean coming out, Drake comes out, who everybody in hip-hop loves. People that listen to Youngboy love them some Drake. Maybe not everything Drake's dropped, but they love them some Drake. Every fan base or subgenre within rap has Drake joints that they enjoy and would not be upset at all if they went to a festival and Drake was the surprise guest. As a matter of fact, they'd probably be elated. But what happens at Tyler, the creator's own festival, which is the best representation of his fan base, they're booing Drake because they wanted Frank Ocean instead. So what does that tell you? That clearly tells you this isn't the most, I guess, like hip hop type of fan base. And hey, maybe there is subconscious jealousy here from Tyler, the creator, which I don't think is the case. I don't think it's intentional jealousy from Tyler, the creator, because he himself is talented, but Maybe he feels like Ian is getting this appreciation or clout or whatever that he doesn't believe he deserves. And who's to say that the guy doesn't deserve it? Who's to say? This guys it's he's blown up very, very quickly in the past year. I just think this is wrong coming from Tyler, the creator. And there are other people he could aim this. How do you say <laughs> There are other people he could aim this criticism at where it would make more sense. And I genuinely think it's just his opinion. But this opinion is for sure wrong. And it's it's a shame because Tyler, the creator, also, a lot of the rappers or artists that Tyler, the creator, has put on, like, he put on this dude Rex Orange County. Yo, who the hell is that? We're not really listening to that guy. That guy's not even a rapper. A lot of these people that he's assisted were outside of the hip hop slash rap genre. And that doesn't mean that Tyler, the creator doesn't like or respect hip hop. The guy clearly does. He's a hip hop nerd. He said it himself. But I just, I think it's, he names Mac Miller and Eminem. That's like two, you name some guy from the nineties and you name some guy from the 2010s. I think this is because the guy's white. That's genuinely my, if I had to point out a reason, I think that's the sole reason. Because he could also be talking about Yeet. And I don't think he was the person that made the comments about Yeet. But Earl, when Yeet was first blowing up, he was like, yo, what the hell is this Yeet stuff? I can't believe y'all rocking with this. Some comments along those lines that echoed that type of sentiment. But Yeet's been out for a while. And I don't think Tyler, the creator, is talking about him. I would say Yeet seems more like a, you could say, a caricature than Ian does. But... How the problem that I have with this is he's trying to push this. He's he's projecting. He's saying, I feel like this guy's mocking. So he's mocking. But if it were a parody, it would be fine because I'd know he'd be parodying. How do you know he's mocking? And what does it become when there are suburban, like people that grew up in the suburbs that cosplay as these rappers that are about all this gang stuff? Is that mocking or does Tyler, the creator, just let that slide? That's the question that I have. But it's just interesting to see. It's kind of like a Spider-Man meme in the sense that these guys make completely different music, of course, but similar fan bases. You, you saw yo, kid, white kids in the suburbs were rocking Golf Wang merch. They were the ones buying all that stuff up and going to all these Tyler, the Creator shows. So that was just the funniest thing that I saw, which I haven't seen many people make that observation yet. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. 
like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace. Oh yeah, also, this is just a side point. Remember when Tyler the Creator first got into the game and he just refused to freestyle and he would just do these garbage freestyles on purpose? People felt like he was mocking the genre or disrespecting it. So there's a lot of stuff that he's, and he's, he was dropping offensive lyrics and disrespecting just religions, everything in his music, things that were core tenets to a lot of hip hop before him. So he was really trying to break things down. And then now he's kind of trying to put these walls up. Uh, hey, I like the fact that he gives us his opinion, though, and I hope he continues to do that.